My name is Eddie, and I'm considered the scout of the community. This is my job. Everyone has a job. Otherwise, you can't stay. There is no place for useless people in this world. But I'm not really part of this world. People around me are like shadows in the fog, as if they weren't even real. The only thing that clutches me to this world is the fear that tears me apart. Not the fear of monsters surrounding us, but the fear of failure. I didn't find a way to overcome it, and it will cause my death. Three days ago, when we were on our way to a wreck, just to scavenge for parts, suddenly a mantis came from nowhere out of the ruins and attacked us. Mickey fought bravely, but the mantis was getting the edge. I quickly whipped out my sling, loaded it with the rock, and spun it around over my head to gather speed and strength. But again, the fear of failure paralyzed me. I just stood there with my sling, spinning while this mantis was slashing Mickey fiercely. I finally managed to fire one right into the eye of that bastard. This time I was lucky. A second more and the mantis would have killed Mickey. This issue has obsessed me. It's altered my sense of danger. The day we took shelter in that fucking nest, it was such a stupid idea to stay there with the storm hitting. Old Ben knew and he left. Should have followed him. A lightning bolt struck the nest and burst in the flames. It was a miracle we didn't get burned. I fell from the tree and cracked my ribs. Damn it. I can't afford to be wounded. Not now. Not when my community has just been dealt the worst blow inflicted in months. Flo and Lucy, two children of our community, was kidnapped during the storm. And when I saw the faces of those travels, I wish they were dead. Fucking insane. This fucking world. Alice went mad. Lucy is her little sister, and despite the low chances of finding them, an expedition was sent to recover the children. So I was on the road again, ahead of the group to scout the way and find clues. First, desolate land. Then, after an hour of walking, more desolate land, a gigantic swamp without any trees on the horizon. They relied on my skills to track the kidnappers, yet I couldn't find any trace of the travels or the children. Suddenly I got real jittery, almost impatient about something. My palms started to sweat and I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I couldn't concentrate on anything. All I wanted to do was escape as far as I could. Mickey yelled. He found some tire tracks on the road. We decided to follow them, walking along the shore of the swamp, heading east. A big structure started to appear on the horizon. It was a fucking huge structure. Remnants of the past. The butcher told us it was some kind of chemical factor used to produce pesticides. I didn't really know what he meant. He added that it was strongly guarded during the Civil War, and usually a military base was built inside. Movements. Things were moving toward us, above the surface of the swamp, and some kind of some kind of big larva. We ran as fast as we could towards the factory gates. The butcher and Nicky both slipped on some shit in the marsh. Some kind of black slime. One of the larvas reached them and they had to stop and face it while I reached the closed gates with Alice. The only way out 
there was a breach in the wall 50 meters from the gate. The butcher and Mickey finally rejoined us, and we walked as quickly as possible on the narrow passage leading to the breach. Dozens of these larvas were converging towards us. I had to focus on my steps. I knew it, but I couldn't. Still obsessed by my failure in finding these children's tracks. We shouldn't have been here. The tribals headed north, not east. I realized I was becoming more and more incompetent in my work. They relied on me and I failed. The blood in my veins began to boil. My wounded rib ached more than ever. And I fell. Now laying in the swamps, floating among the waste, I let the dark waters infiltrate me. I hear the noises of the larva crawling towards my head behind me. So I will die here. Actually a relief. No more failure. But the butcher jumps to my rescue. Damn it. I'm nothing but a burden to them now. But I must react. I can't give up when others still have hope. Quietly endure, silently suffer, and keep struggling to allow others to live. <laughs>